What's going on guys? So for those of you who don't know, I compete. I've competed once. So we're going to talk about our joint experiences and our individual experiences as uh, physique competitors. So what did you like about competing? What did I like? Well, shocker here, but I absolutely loved the aesthetic of everything, like the glam, the glitz, the heels, everything. I absolutely loved that. I loved posing. I really enjoyed the structure mm -hmm. of prep. I really liked that. Like structuring your days, your meals, like all of it? All of it. Like just everything has to be so structured, especially the days. I really loved the setup that I had. It was, mm -hmm. I loved it. Would you go back to that, even though you're not competing? To the structure? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I'm definitely not as structured as I was before, but I mean, I could be more, yeah. What did you hate about competing? Um, there wasn't really anything that I hated about it. It was just you know, you're told if you're going to compete, your life needs to be on the up and up. Like, everything needs to be okay. Because stress or prep can be incredibly stressful. My life was not on the up and up. So, I put myself in a very stressful situation when I was already in a very stressful situation. So, that kind of ruined the experience for me. Not having the support or having someone that's trying to, like, you know, drag you down while you're doing it, so... It's not that I didn't like competing, it was just the whole experience. I just have, you know, bad, bad taste. Bad what taste in my mouth. Bad? Never say never. Um, definitely couldn't do bikini. I was in the wrong category, for sure. But wellness, I don't have enough meat on me yet, so I... But I don't see it happening. <laughs> I don't see it happening anytime soon. Hmm. Anything else you'd like to share about pro or competing? No, not overly. How about you? How was your experience? Um, so, I mean, I've never had an easy prep. Since we've been together, since I started competing, yeah, um, my f there's always been some sort of life event. Like my first competition, I went through a breakup. I was out of province, um, and then I met you. <laughs> um, I've had family deaths. I've had the flu. I've had competitions canceled and moved. Um, I've had you in the hospital. So I like I've never had a, a a prep where it's smooth. Um, with that being said, I don't think I'd be the athlete I am now without that. I'm not just the athlete, the person I am. Yeah. Um. I mean, tough times either either breaks you or or it makes you something. Um, so that's that's always been like one of the things I love about competing, and I always tell people like, um, I don't really, th I, I don't know if there's the perfect prep. For some people, I'm sure there is. For me, at least, and from what I've seen from my fellow competitors, there's always something. Mm -hmm. Something always yeah. gets in the way. Um, it's like, and if you don't embrace that, then then it's miserable. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people. <laughs> That's how a lot of people are. Like they complain their whole prep, they struggle, they cheat, whatever it is, they find an excuse. And I think the reality is, I find like prep is just like a, a, a microcosm of what life is, right? Like at the end of the day, like you have a goal and nobody cares how you get there. Like, see, like nobody gives a shit if you get on stage or not at the end of the day, right? Like the competition's gonna go on. So it's really up to you to learn about yourself and figure out like, am I going to get there? Not like how or, or when or if, 
it's just a matter of like I got to do what I got to do to get there, right? Um, so that's I mean that's my personality and and that's that's me. So it works for me. Yeah. Um, the adversity, like I just figure it out, and, and you got to get there, right? Um, what I what don't I like about prep um, or competing? I mean, it's a sport, and with any sport, there's there's politics sometimes, and there's um, the judging can be a little bit up in the air at times, um, and then competing like Canada compared to the U.S. It's it's a bit different in the judging structure and um, the athletes, so it's it's a bit tough when you when you're getting to the higher levels. Um, but it's a sport, so that comes with any sport. No point in complaining about it. Um, would I compete again? I mean, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Competing again in June. Um, going for the pro card, I don't, we haven't really talked about what I'll do after I get my pro card. I haven't really thought about it. Um, would you compete pro? Oh, I have to. I don't know when. I think well, obviously you would yeah. be pro, but would you like continue on with your career after you become a pro, or do you just want the title? Um, no, I think like I I continue, um, but I think we're due for a break. Our our personal life has been like we've had a lot of family stuff happening around us, um, so I think it would be a, a good time for us to take take a little well deserved break. I mean we've. I've been in prep like our whole relationship. <laughs> I know, I was going to say, every year, every year, he competes that we've been together. So the last, coming up on six years, he's always been prepping. There's a competition, there's something. So the break would be nice. I don't know what our life would be without competing. <laughs> you would still be structured. Yes. Um... Yeah, I mean, my advice to anybody who's looking to start competing is um, start with a coach that cares about your health and well-being. Yes, um, yes. Winning a trophy is great. It's a great feeling. It's you know, it's a high like no other. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of bad coaches out there, and competing is an extreme sport regardless of what anybody tells you. The dieting is extreme, the training is extreme. Um, so you want somebody there that's going to help guide you through that. Um, and know your why. It's not good enough to just compete for a trophy. Um, you have to know your why, because that's what's gonna get you through that. You know, when you know, you're know you six weeks out and something goes wrong, that's what's gonna get you through. Mm -hmm. not the trophy um, and then if you don't win that's what's going to get you back up on stage so you have to know your why and um, and be smart about it otherwise enjoy it I love it I hope you will do and make sure you have one thing I want to add your environment the people that surround you you need to make sure you have a positive influence and your partner is on board and that person supports you because if you have any negativity it just doesn't end well it's very important that everyone in your corner is positive and supporting you and not everybody will understand what you're doing and that's okay they don't have to they don't they don't need to um, but what they need to do is respect that whatever you're doing or whatever you're going through um, yeah. you're doing it for a reason um, like I've prepped through the holidays through Christmas holidays and I've missed like family events and I've had like like my dad called me up and he's like well why couldn't you just come by I was like because I couldn't I was training um, and this, it sounds really extreme but I, just, I needed I needed to have my head in the game um, and I said, look, like you don't have to, you don't have to understand what competing is, but you need to respect that. You know, this was my decision, and 
I'll, I'll come by and I'll see you guys another time or there's going to be another Christmas. Like, it, it is what it is. Um, and like I said, like, I find that like, competing is a microcosm to everything else in life. It's, um, you need to be like that with your goals. You have to be like that with your goals. If you want something, you have to want it for a reason and you have to want it wholeheartedly. Um, and if other people can't understand what you're doing or why you're doing it, that is okay. They can be, they can be um, concerned for your, your well-being and your safety. That's one thing. Um, they can express that. That's one thing. Um, but to hinder you is a totally different thing. So you, yeah, like you have to be able to differentiate the two, um, and be able to have those conversations with your your support group and your family and friends and stuff like that. Yeah, it's not always easy, but it's definitely necessary. And that's competing for us. <laughs>